Yo, Lou. Carolina fans said they beat NC State and Mizzou. Started 2-0, and now they win in the East. <laughs> Ten four, buddy. Hey, good morning. Uh, yep, that's right. It's me, Uncle Lou, live for you on YouTube this morning. Uh, thanks for watching. Kentucky at South Carolina this week. Probably the uh, the second uh, most interesting game in the SEC. As far as SEC versus SEC teams go, um, LSU and Mississippi State probably on the top of that list. But uh, still, Kentucky at South Carolina, an interesting game. Kentucky, give credit where it's due, I, I, uh, has beat uh, South Carolina, I think, what, three years straight now? Uh, so two at home and one in Columbia, playing in Columbia this year. Uh, both teams are 2-0. and oh. uh, But let's be real, who, who's looked more impressive here, Kentucky or South Carolina? Uh, it's been South Carolina. Let's just be real. Um, Kentucky, you did not look good last week against some directional team. What was it, Eastern Kentucky? They were beating you at halftime, weren't they? Sad. Uh, pathetic, really. Um, you know, Kentucky Kentucky really hyped themselves up in the offseason. I mean, that's pretty typical. You know, a lot of fans will do that. A lot of teams will do that. You know, everybody's undefeated in the offseason. But Kentucky was was louder than usual. Um, this year about their team. And so far, I just have not been impressed. I mean, Kentucky has not looked good. Um, they're either the worst or the next to worst team um, in the East for sure. Um, it's between Kentucky and Missouri without question. Vanderbilt, on the other hand, has been impressive, uh, but, but we're not talking about them in this video. They do have a big game this week at, uh, against Kansas State, though. Uh, anyway, uh, back to Kentucky. You've not looked impressive um, at all. Um, yeah, you beat South Carolina three years in a row, but look, South Carolina, you know, they're 2-0 and just like you, but they're more tested than you are. Um, you know, it's not like South Carolina has been beating juggernauts or top 25 teams, but, you know, NC State and Mizzou are more impressive wins than, than, than Kentucky's two wins for sure, and, and South Carolina's looks better doing it. The NC State game was a little iffy for a while, but the Missouri game never really in question with Missouri and South Carolina. The defense uh, impressed me, uh, holding Drew Locke to, I think, one touchdown pass. Is that right? And about 250 yards passing, which sounds like a lot. But to Drew Locke, that's not a lot. That's about half of his average, really. You know, Drew Locke's going to get probably closer to 400 a game this year than he is to 250. So you got to give credit to South Carolina where it's due. Um, i got to go with South Carolina in this game. Uh, and I don't really think it's going to be close. Uh, to be honest, isn't this South Carolina's first home game? I think it is. They played a neutral site game week one against NC State, and then didn't, didn't they play at Mizzou last week? First home game for South Carolina. They're two and zero. Oh. You know what that means? These cock fans are going to be. I mean, you should hear some of them. Uh, first of all, listen, South Carolina. Well, let, let me get to that. Wait, just wait. South Carolina is winning this game. Okay, it's at home. They've looked better than Kentucky. Um, they've been more impressive than Kentucky. It's their first home game. There's just too many things swinging Carolina's favor uh, right now. Kentucky, you're not winning this game. Just forget about it. Um, it's not going to be close. Carolina will win this game uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of two to three scores, 17 to 24 points, something like that would probably be my guess there. Um, so, yeah, sorry, Kentucky. Just deal with it. Uh, your season's about to go downhill really, really quick. Uh, but South Carolina fans. Can we pump the brakes on the hype train for just a second here? Congratulations on being 2-0, and okay? That is an improvement over your last two years. You started 1-1 one one each of the last two, two years, winning your first game, I think, and losing your second game, I, I believe, uh, each of the last couple of years. So 2-0, and an improvement for you. And you go back to my preseason predictions for Carolina. Uh, I believe I had you beating Missouri uh, and NC State as a toss-up, I think is how I had that. So... Was I technically 100% accurate? No, I should have had you, I guess, at two wins there, but I wasn't wrong either. I didn't give you a loss in either of those games. So when I look at your your window that I gave you, which I think was somewhere in the neighborhood of six to uh, eight wins, you're definitely trending more towards the eight. But slow the hype train down. Missouri and NC State are not good teams. I mean, they are not. 
I'm not knocking you. you. You play who's on the schedule. So, you know, it's not your fault that NC State, Missouri is not any good. That's not a knock on, on you that as far as playing them goes. But slow the hype train down. These are not good teams, okay? Uh, I think combined, these teams won 12 or 13 games last year, NC State and North Carolina. Or NC State and uh, Missouri, right? Missouri won, what, six games? Uh, how many did NC State won? Seven, I think, or something. I mean, it was something like that. It, neither one of these teams were very impressive last year. Neither one of these teams are very good this year. Let's just be real. So these South Carolina fans who think they're they're suddenly winning the East because they started two and zero against a uh, uh, middle tier ACC team and a probably the wor- and, and then a second win over what is arguably the worst team in the entire SEC in Missouri. Um, let's slow it down just a little bit. I mean, you still have Will Muschamp as a coach. The guy works for UJ, and he's a proven loser. Until he proves otherwise, that's just what he is, okay? You had a losing record last year. You had a losing record the year before that. So, Carolina fans, slow it down with the we're winning the East talk and the we're beating UGA and we're beating Florida and we're beating Tennessee and we're beating Texas A&M and we're beating Vanderbilt. No, you're still losing to the majority of those teams, okay? You're losing to UGA. You're losing to uh, Florida. Tennessee, that's still a toss-up. They've never beat Muschamp. Uh, Vanderbilt, I think, is a toss-up. Look, Vanderbilt has looked... Look, if South Carolina fans are going to beat their chest about about being 2-0 and and how they've looked, the, the, you've looked no different than Van- Vanderbilt has been just as impressive as South Carolina. So I guess South Carolina thinks they're winning the East and Vanderbilt's coming in second. I guess that's what they're, they're telling me here. I don't know. But let's just slow it down a little bit. Um, you've got, uh, you know, points off of special teams. You know, that kind of stuff is not going to continue throughout the year. Debo Samuel not sneaking up on anybody on special teams anymore the rest of the year. So, his, you know, as far as him getting more touchdown returns, that's going to get harder and harder every single week, especially as you're playing better teams. Um, you got to remember, usually it's second string people that are playing on special teams, okay? So ask yourself this. Who has a better second uh, string? Georgia, the teams like Georgia, Florida, in Tennessee, or teams like Missouri and NC State. So slow it down with the Debo Samuel for Heisman crap. Slow it down with the Jake Bentley as Tom Brady 2.0 crap. Slow it down with the South Carolinas winning the East and challenging for the SEC. None of that is happening. Congratulations. You look better than last year. You're likely going to have a winning record this year for the first time in three years. Let that be enough. Don't set yourself up for the inevitable disappointment that is to come by pounding your chest and screaming and typing in every comment section you can find that South Carolina, this is this is our year. This is our year. We beat NC State and Mizzou, Lou. Lou, we beat NC State and Mizzou. Our year, Lou. No, not your year. Um, your year to have a winning record. Now, for which for South Carolina is never a given. Uh, I mean, you're a you're you're a consistent and persistent. Basement dweller. So if you can get to eight and four after the last two seasons you had, that should make you happy. But shut up about winning the East. You're not winning the East. It's not happening. Okay, what'd you win? Like three games in in 15, six games in uh 17. So you, you got you a good little Tennessee type pattern going here, right? Three, six, and, and then you get to eight, that'd be great. Um, if you can finish eight and four, depending on who they match you up with, with in a bowl, and finish nine and four, you're telling me Carolina fans are going to be mad about that? I don't think so. But don't set yourself up for disappointment. You're not winning the East. You're not beating Clemson. You're not beating UJ. You're not beating Florida. Um, I, I still think you lose one game to the West at least. Uh, I mean, you've got some losses coming. Just slow it down. Slow the hype train down. Pump the brakes. Uh, congrats on two and zero. Oh. Um, but if you can try, I don't know, get a map or something, get, get a Google Maps, a GPS, a navigation system, something, and please find your way back to reality.